Hello students, welcome to another lesson presented by the Learning Depot. In today's lesson, we will focus on two phrases, the gerund phrase and the participial phrase. Let's begin. The gerund phrase functions as a noun and the participial phrase functions as an adjective. A participle and a gerund are types of verbals. A verbal is a verb form that can function as a noun, an adjective, or an adverb. A participle functions as an adjective when it modifies a noun or pronoun. Remember that present participles end in ing and past participles usually end in ed. Check out the lesson linked above on participles. I'll also leave the link down below. A gerund is another type of verbal that also ends in ing, but a gerund takes the place of a noun. If you're watching this lesson, you probably know that identifying the participial phrase and the gerund phrase can be confusing because both of them end in ing. So for the sake of comparison to the gerund, we'll focus on the present participle ending in ing. Let's look at this example. Realizing he was going to fail the test, Jaden hired a tutor. Now, in this example, realizing that he was going to fail the test is describing Jaden. Who realized he was going to fail the test? Jaden did. So in this example, that phrase beginning with the verbal realizing is working as a participial phrase because it is acting as an adjective describing Jaden. One thing that you could do to test to see if it's an adjective or a noun is remove the phrase. If the phrase is acting as an adjective, you can remove it from the sentence and the sentence remains intact. It still makes sense. Jaden hired a tutor that can stand alone. Let's look at this other example. Students arriving after the teacher has started teaching will be marked tardy. Can you identify the participial phrase? That's correct. Arriving after the teacher has started teaching. In this example, the participial phrase arriving after the teacher has started teaching is describing students. We can remove it. Students will be marked tardy. And we will revisit this sentence later because this sentence also has a gerund. We'll come back to it. Let's go on to the gerund. The gerund is a verbal that ends in ing, but it acts as a noun. Now let's clarify something. Some grammar sites will tell you that a participle can function as a noun, and this is technically true, because what they're really saying is that a present participle that functions as a noun is simply a gerund. What differentiates the usage of a present participle as a noun or gerund, or as an adjective, simply a participial, is its function in the sentence. Let's look at the gerund. Let's begin by sharing the tip that you can use to identify any noun or noun form. Remember, if you can replace a word or a phrase or a clause with a pronoun, usually it, or the demonstrative pronouns this or that, then you have a gerund. Let's try it. Singing in the choir is something that Tanya enjoys. Singing, in this example, is a gerund. It's acting as a noun. It is a thing. We can replace it with the pronoun it. It is something that Tanya enjoys. Or we can use it with a demonstrative pronoun. This, this is something that Tanya enjoys. Let's look at another example. My neighbor complained of hearing my dog bark at night. In this example, Hearing my dog bark at night is a gerund phrase because the verbal hearing is a gerund acting as a noun. My neighbor complained of this. My neighbor complained of that. 
You see, we can replace that entire phrase with a demonstrative pronoun or simply the pronoun it. Let's go back to that sentence I told you about earlier. Students arriving after the teacher has started teaching will be marked tardy. Remember that we use this sentence as an example of a participial phrase using arriving to modify or describe the students. In this case, arriving is acting as an adjective. But did you notice that we have a gerund in that sentence? That's correct, teaching. Remember, Let's use a pronoun. Students arriving after the teacher has started it will be marked tardy. Well, that makes sense. Students arriving after the teacher has started this will be marked tardy. Yes, that makes sense as well. That ing word passes all the gerund tests, so it is a gerund. Make sure to go back and review the parts of the video that you did not understand and if you have questions or comments leave them below and I'll make sure to answer them. And if you like this video please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye! Yeah.